a stainless steel needle valve. This is a 6,000 psi, approximately 420 bar valve. They're available in different sizes from quarter inch through to one inch. The thing to remember about these needle valves is that they're not like a glow valve, that they're a full flow. They actually have a small orifice inside. A hardened tip here, which is a floating tip. There's a handle and you screw this up and down and the needle will go into the orifice and restrict the flow. So even though the actual porting might be say half inch or three quarter inch or one inch, the actual orifice inside here might only be five millimeter. So it's designed to control a precise flow down at, at very high pressure uh, down to nothing here. So I'll show the needle valve afterwards uh, an exposed sort of view, but that's basically what it looks like. Flow comes in here, it goes over the top of the seat, it's a restriction, down out through here. Wind this up and down, there's a thread inside here to control this. But that needle head is hardened, if we look just over here, this floating head, it's got a hardened tip, and the actual unit floats slightly so that can centre itself as it comes into the into the orifice underneath. That allows the, the unit to be more accurate in its, in its uh, control. Is there any questions on that? Uh, does the flow always have to be in that direction or can it be the other way around? It could be the other way around, but I, because you've got very high pressure, the actual loading is on top, going down, holding it down, and at 6,000 psi, you're going to have a lot of pressure coming back up. It has to be on the top, which is holding it down. Excuse me, Ross, what if you have low pressure? Low pressure? Yeah, low pressure, say you have um, three, 300 kg, three bar pressure. It's not going to make any difference right, though. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, it'll still go through the through onto the top here, you still pipe it up the same way. It does have a direction of flow on the outside of the, of the valve, etched into here with the pressure rating and the sizing, uh, but the flow will still go onto the top and go down through that way. So you pipe it up the same way and the, the flow, it's the low pressure won't make any difference. It'll still be able to give you precision control right down to virtually no pressure at all, up to 6,000 psi. It's a very strong valve, um, made of solid 316. So it's purely a precision on a very small scale. It's not designed to have a large flow, a full bore right down to nothing. It's for the control at the lower flow level of it, but at a high pressure. Just go over here now to have a look at the, the valve in disassembled form. We have a valve here, if you look into the top, and you can see the orifice inside. In this case, it's about a five millimeter orifice. Uh, the flow is in the direction like that shown through here. If we look into the end you can see the hole going through here. This is a three quarter inch BSP but as you can see the hole is only about five millimeters in through there. And then likewise in the outlet in the opposite direction. So the actual valve itself has this little thread on the top which screws into here and you wind the handle in and out and it has the hardened seat. That seat itself can move this wobbles. So it's a floating seat, allows it to centralise in the hole down below and that'll always give you very accurate control. The seat itself is a hardened face and uh, that's how it looks like when it's completely assembled.